and I just wanted to kind of get personal and so I wear clothes up and personal today guys. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome my name is Alexis and I'm so happy to have you guys here if you are new do not forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I post a new video and if you guys aren't new then welcome back to my channel guys whether you come from my vlogs or my hauls or my cleaning videos thanks for coming back to hang out with me um, so as you guys can clearly see by the thumbnail of this video I am holding a pregnancy test so, a like 30 second backstory in case you guys are new. I have a husband, we have been married for four years, we have been together for five years, and we have a daughter that is three years old. So after my daughter's third birthday in July, me and my husband started talking and we kind of decided that maybe we are ready to add a second baby to our family. I know there's no right or wrong whether you have your kids really close together or kind of close or far apart. There's no right or wrong reason. What we do is just for our family what works best for us, but I'm not saying your guys way is right or wrong it's just every family has their own way of doing things we d we waited three years and we finally decided that we were ready to start trying to conceive baby number two <sighs> that is why I'm holding a pregnancy pregnancy test in my thumbnail when July was our first month that we started trying to conceive and it didn't happen but it was just the first month I, we both said it's okay like that's probably, that's pretty normal. I know some people it takes months or years to have a baby. Although Riley came super quick for us. She came, I think, the first month that we conceived her. So, but I do know that every pregnancy is different. We just said, okay, August, we'll try again and try to see if we get pregnant in August. So again, we tried in August and I went to go pick up um, these pregnancy tests at the end of August because my period comes the last week of August or the last week of every month. So ever since I stopped breastfeeding my daughter about six, well, six or seven months ago, my period has been not consistent of every day of the month. Before that, I could count on it, like let's just say the 15th of every month I knew it was going to come. And now it's kind of a few days off. But I talked to my doctor and she said that's fine. One day it will eventually go back to normal because I was breastfeeding for two and a half years. And that is a lot for my body to readjust to and everything. So yeah, the same week I went on and bought my, this pregnancy test, my period came and I didn't even have a chance to use these pregnancy tests. So they are still, oh, there was just one in here. I thought there was two, but I just opened this pack today, but there's still my preg pregnancy test in here. I didn't even get a chance to take it because before I knew it, my period had came and I knew I wasn't pregnant. Um, so that's two months that we have been trying to conceive for baby number two and I just wanted to kind of get personal and so I wear close up and personal today guys. I don't really share a lot of our personal life and I feel like I kind of want to start sharing more of that with you guys because you guys are like all like my friends. I've connected with so many of you guys and I just think it'd be fun to kind of document this journey. So month number two, no pregnancy yet. I kind of just wanted to update. I didn't, I didn't even have a chance to film like a taking a pregnancy test because obviously my periods are crazy right now and I just I didn't get a chance to record me even taking a pregnancy test but this next part of the video is kind of really where, why I wanted to record this so after month number two came and went and we found out that we weren't pregnant me and my husband kind of started talking and we decided you know I kind of told my husband maybe this is not the right time to have a baby as much as I want a baby right now as much as I want to give our daughter a sibling um, I just don't think it's the right time for us and I think this this two months kind of gave me some time to think like every time I knew I wasn't pregnant I kind of thought about it a little bit more and if like I said if you guys are new or if you're not um, ever since I got pregnant with my daughter which was 20 years old I'm about to be 24 this month I have been a stay-at-home mom even when I was pregnant um my pregnancy i was like sick 24 7 it wasn't morning sickness for me it was like around the clock sickness and that didn't stop until like i was six months um so i really didn't get the chance to work even when i was pregnant and then obviously when my daughter was here me and my husband made the decision that i we, we wanted me to stay home with our daughter so i could raise our daughter until she was old enough to go to school which was this year she's in preschool now she can communicate with us she can talk to us so we feel better we feel good knowing we're letting her out into the world um knowing that when she comes back home to us in the afternoon if anything is wrong with if anything went wrong she can communicate to us vocally now if you guys are a working mom i'm totally not bashing you guys um 
we're we're just thankful we're just lucky enough that my husband is able to support us with his job and i don't have to work that's the main reason why i stay home because we are financially stable enough for me to stay home with my daughter but now that my daughter is off to school guys this is the first time in four years that i've had time to myself time to think and i have a chance to work now guys i don't know i just finally have a chance to to work and we were 19 and 20 when we had our daughter and we did know what we were doing when we had our daughter so yes technically we planned her but we were so young back then and i'm not saying anything if you had your kids when you were 19 and 20 that's when i had my daughter but we really we didn't look at it realistically we just thought we were gonna have a cute baby and she was gonna be a baby forever and i know that's a dumb way of thinking about things but i was i was dumb guys i i didn't realize everything that it was going to take to become a parent um i love my daughter she has changed me in the best way possible i have never made a better decision in my life than to become a mom i love being a mother but i just feel like now that my husband's 23 i'm about to be 24 we really learned a lot the last four years and we want to be 100% sure that when we have our night our next baby that we are 100% ready to have another baby um yeah now that we know everything that it actually takes to become a, to be a parent i want to be the best parent that i can be when we have another baby and i just want to give myself a chance to work so i don't ever have to think if i get pregnant again like what is it like to work because as silly as that sounds i worked in high school and a little bit through college but i've never really worked for long i'm 24 and never really had that chance and although i would not change being a stay-at-home mom for anything i've seen the best the best moments of my life have happened being a stay-at-home mother so i'm not saying i take that back but now i'm just saying that i have a chance to do something new before i have another baby and before i stay home again with my second baby so yes guys the main point of this video is to say even though i am sad that i am not pregnant um everything is in god's timing and hey this is our timeline god may laugh at our plans and say well, you're gonna have a baby like in january or february without even thinking or trying you never know when a baby is going to come is what i'm trying to say i'm just telling you guys our plans and what i'm trying to do i want to start working soon and i just want to know how it feels to be like a working mom because i've never been a working mom i've always been a stayed at home mom so i just think it'd be really cool to help out my husband because he's always done he's always supported our family by ourselves and i kind of want to know how it feels to help support our family you know just i don't know so i am sad my daughter keeps asking for a sibling but maybe by the time she's five we'll be pregnant or we have another baby that's what i really want i, want, I at least want to work for like a year and a half maybe even two years before we have a baby um so yeah guys um the point of this video is we were trying and now we're not trying but if it happens it happens but i do my main priority right now is to enjoy my daughter enjoy a new journey with her starting school and me starting a job and just enjoying time with our family my husband is an active duty army soldier so um we're thankful for every day that he is home with us because that's not always the case so right now i'm just focusing on enjoying our family and we're, we're so young we're only 24 and we have our whole life ahead of us my mom had me when she was 30 so all in god's timing i don't want my kids like 10 years apart but if that happens guys then it happens and there's something I can do but hopefully by the time Riley's fine we can have another baby or at least be pregnant with another baby but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed this update I know I haven't given an update in a while that's why I wanted to make this video but yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you guys liked it do not forget to like comment and subscribe one more thing if you guys do have kids what are their age gaps I would really like to know and if you guys have age gaps like five years do you like it? Do you regret it? Did you wish you did it, done it sooner? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.